Welcome back. In the last video, we looked at uh, the simple interest formula here, and we saw that if I borrowed $1,000 for one year, uh, say at a 8% uh, a year rate, which is not going to write now, 8% was the rate here, then I would have to pay back uh, at one year the original $1,000 plus the interest, uh, which was going to be $80, and that was found by taking the uh, $1,000 and multiplying it by 0 .08 uh, times 1 uh, to give us the uh, $80 that was going to be the interest. Now, like uh, any good uh, formula, uh, you can solve just not for the uh, primary uh, dependent variable here, but you can use and uh, the other uh, variables here are sometimes useful to be found. So let's take a look at another kind of situation. This is what's called a payday loan. Now, so it typically uh, what happens is that someone will, uh, you need a little money to tide you over to your next payday. So for example, supposing I need to borrow $100 here uh, for two weeks. And uh, the person says, okay, to do this, I have to charge you a little interest. They may call it a fee or something. So you're uh, going to pay, we'll call it the interest, $10. Okay, now the question I have here is, uh, what is the, uh, the annual rate that's being charged? Notice I said annual here. That's kind of important, uh, as we'll see in a moment. Now, um, how do I figure this out? Well, I take a look at the, the formula up here, and I see that my interest is $10 based on a principal of $100. Now, the rate, well, the annual rate, that's what I'm looking for. And so now I have to express my time here in terms of, of years. So in that case... Two weeks would be two over 52 weeks, so it would be 250 seconds of, of a year. So I have to solve this formula here. Uh, you see, this is just I equals uh, PRT. I have to solve this for the R to find out what my annual rate is going to be. And that's not uh, too much of a problem. It's uh, 10 here, and I have to divide that by 100. And then I have to multiply by the reciprocal of this fraction. So this is 52 over 2. Uh, well, we can actually solve this, uh, do a little bit of cancellation here. Uh, divide by this. This is 1 tenth. Uh, 2 goes into 52 26 times. So this is just going to be uh, 26 divided by uh, 10 or uh, 2.6. Now. That, remember, this is the decimal form of that. Uh, so in terms of percent, this is 260%. Now, that's a big uh, percent here. Uh, this is, uh, compare it with credit cards of maybe 18% or something like that. Uh, so that's the annual percent. Now, one thing we should do is to distinguish between an annual uh, percent rate here and what the uh, flat percent rate would be. I mean, the company might want to tell you the flat rate. So the question is, uh, second question is, what is the rate for two weeks? All right, so how do we find that? Well, the two-week rate is just going to be uh, looking, again, the things we have to vary here are going to be the timing. So if we have $10, we're paying them. Uh, based on what we borrowed was 100 Now, if the rate now is going to be the two-week rate, right, then I have to put this in terms of two weeks. Well, there's only one two-week period we're looking at. So the rate in this case is just going to be uh, 10 over 100 uh, which turns out to be 0.1, which is the same as 10%. So the company might say, well, look, we're only charging you with 10% interest, 
they forget to tell you that it's a two-week rate and not the annual rate. Okay, so uh, this is one kind of situation where we want to find the rate. Now, we can actually look at some other uh, such situations. Uh, for example, uh, looking at the way stock prices vary. Uh, at the end of the year, I went and uh, looked at uh, prices in stock, and so uh, IBM was a good one to look at. At the end of 2008, the price of a share of stock was going to be $85 a share. And then looking back a couple of years before that, at the end of 2006, the price of it was $100 a share. So it gives me some nice numbers to work with here. Uh, okay, so the question is, uh, how much, what was the annual uh, decrease? It went down. Annual decrease in uh, the price of a share. Okay, well, we can work this out in the same way. Uh, using the uh, basic uh, uh, formula here for uh, simple interest. In this case, we have to figure out what the, the interest or the basically the gain was. Well, let's see, I can draw a little graph here. Uh, it was $100, and then two years later, it was down to $85. So it's a little small here. Uh, so, how much of a drop did we have? Well, it dropped from 185, so it drops $15. Okay, so we can say minus 15, that's the I, uh, from a starting point of $100. The annual rate is what we were interested in here. And then what is the period of time? Well. Uh, we're looking at annual rate, so it's two years. Well, that's going to be pretty easy to do. I can see my annual rate is going to just be uh, minus 15 divided by 100, and then dividing that by a 2. Uh, so that's going to be a minus 0.15 uh, divided by 2. So it comes out to be a minus 7.5% uh, is the annual decrease. Now, uh, the uh, you can look at this for uh, other types of uh, time periods. For example, you might have just the stock just didn't start at 100 and go down to 85 continuously, or is a nice smooth curve. It jumped around a lot, and so you could actually look at any other time period and use, for example, uh, what would the, how much it, the price decreased in the last month or the last six months or something like that. Okay, so uh, this gives you uh, an idea of, of how we can actually use this uh, compound interest, uh, or, uh, this simple interest formula here to find some simple uh, or rates. Uh, take a look at another video.